Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers. Today I'm going to show CFD heat transfer analysis through a furnace evaporator coil. This furnace evaporator coil works like a thin tube heat exchanger. Furnace coil evaporators are actually used in high rise buildings or commercial buildings. And it is used as a HVAC system for reducing temperature and for having chilling effect in the room. Uh, for understanding the geometry, let us have a segmented view of this model. You can cut it from different planes. You can see inside this one we are having a lot of copper tubes. These copper tubes will provide fan at a lower temperature and it is surrounded with a lot of fins. Actually in this case from downside, air will be forced out at a high velocity. This is actually forced convection. So, so from downside we will provide air at a specific velocity of 30 meter per second and inside these tubes we will provide freon at a low temperature of 5 degrees centigrade and at the top side we will get the output that means whatever we are supplying from downside that will be cooled and at the top side we will have air at a lower temperature. In this type of finest evaporator coils we can expect a temperature in the range of 15 to 20 degrees centigrade. Okay. So with that was in time, let us start our simulation. For starting this simulation, we need to initiate the flow simulation environment and that will be initiated with wizard itself. And we are keeping the name of the project as project 3. Next to that, we need to select unit systems and we are considering SI unit system and from temperature, we will consider degrees Celsius. Next to that, we will consider this one as an external analysis because this is forced convection and air at room temperature will be provided from downside at a specific velocity. So it is an external analysis and from physical features we need to select fluid flow conditions and conduction and in this case gravity will be involved and the direction of gravity is indicated by Y. So along y direction it will be minus 9.81 meter per second square and along z it will be 0 meter per second square. Next to that, the gases and liquids will consider default fluid as air because air will be passing from downside at a velocity of 30 meter per second. So default fluid we are considering as air and liquid it will be freon. So it will be R123. Next to that, we need to select materials. In this case of furnace coil evaporator, we are having two types of materials. Tubes are made up of copper and the fins are made of aluminum alloys. So here we will select only one and others will be selected during application of boundary conditions. Let us select metals and from this one, we will select copper for the tubes. and roughness parameter we are considering as default thermometric parameters we are considering pressure as 10135 pascal and temperature to be 30 degrees centigrade again solid parameters it will also be 30 degrees centigrade and from initial parameters as it is a force convection so from downside we need to provide here at a specific velocity and the direction of air will be upward so it will be along y let us consider that air will be passing from downside at a velocity of 30 meter per second and the coordinate system as air will be moving so we need to change the coordinate system it will be along y let us finish this Now you can see this is the computational domain as it is an external analysis so we need to consider air also and our aim should be to reduce the computational domain to reduce the computational time so let us edit this computational domain to make it smaller you can select it from other side also so this is our computational domain it is ready
so we can hide it and we need to apply different boundary conditions we're having two different fruits uh, let us select domain for freon it will be passing from this location for that one we can have a segmented view from specific plane you can cut it from right plane from this location we need to provide freon at a temperature of 5 degrees centigrade so fluid subdomains assert fluid subdomain and we need to provide freon from this one and from fluid types we need to select liquids it will be r123 at a temperature of 5 degrees centigrade and that will be provided from this location this is the domain for freon which will pass in from this down location at a temperature of 5 degrees centigrade green check and default fluid is air so that one is not required to be provided next to that we need to select solid materials insert solid materials predefined it will be metals and copper so we need to select these tubes so that can be selected from the geometry itself solid bodies and we have renamed this one already tube entry tube exit and copper tubes so all the tubes are selected and it is made up of copper next to that we need to select the aluminium for the fins so again solid materials insert solid materials and we need to select that fins from predefined alloys is aluminium 6061 alloys and we can select those fins from the geometry itself let us select from here itself we'll select the last one so all the fins are selected and we need to select the top one also because that is also made up of aluminium control and fin so all the fins are selected and it is made up of aluminium 6061 alloys green check both the materials are defined next to that we need to apply boundary conditions and for applying boundary conditions it is always suggested to have a segmented view of the model so we can cut it from right plane boundary conditions insert boundary conditions and we need to provide freon at a specific mass flow rate or velocity let us provide velocity to be 0 0.01 meter per second from this location so we'll provide freon from this location at a velocity of 0 0.01 meter per second right and the velocity of this one will be 0 0.01 meter per second and we can select thermodynamic parameters it will be 5 degrees centigrade definitely green check done and another boundary condition to be applied at the exit of pipe it will be atmospheric pressure boundary conditions insert boundary conditions and it will be atmospheric pressure at exit of pipe green check both the boundary conditions are applied and from initial conditions we have provided that air at a temperature of 30 degrees centigrade will be moving off with a velocity of 30 meter per second and the temperature of air is 30 degrees centigrade that is already provided from initial conditions so all the boundary conditions are applied next to that we need to select our goals we can have a lot of goals but in this case we want to have only single goal that means we want to have temperature at the exit of these tubes goals insert surface goals and it will be average temperature of fluid at the exit of copper tubes you can select this location green check goal is defined next to that we need to run this we have already simulated this project so we can see the results from the previous one with the same data uh, first of all we'll see the results from cut plots it will be from different planes insert cut plots and 
you can see the results from front plane and it will be temperature of fluid and for seeing the dynamics of flow particles or different cut plots it is better to have a transparent view of this model let us see from front plane but we need to make the model transparent for viewing the dynamics of flow particles we can make it transparent from here let us see these cut plots in the form of animation let us play You can see at the downside of the pipes, the temperature of freon is very less. It is in the range of 5 to 7 degrees centigrade. And as it is moving off, its temperature is rising. And finally, you can see at the top side, its temperature is in the range of approximately 20 degrees centigrade, 24 to 27 degrees centigrade, right? We can make the fins hidden to see the temperature distribution through these pipes, right? Let us clear and hide this one first. And we want to make the fins to be invisible because through these fins actually a lot of heat transfer will take place. Let us make the fins to be invisible or completely transparent. So we have made the fins hidden. Now it will be nice to see the dynamics of flow particles and the pressure and temperature distribution through these pipes because our main aim is to see the temperature distribution and pressure distribution through these pipes only we can see it from front plane now we'll see the different cut plots from here again we'll see pressure distribution from here insert cut plots and we'll see pressure distribution through these pipes Instead of temperature of fluid, we want to see pressure distribution. Go and check. You can see that through the pipes, pressure remains almost constant, it is not changing at all. Right? You can see the distribution through different planes. Let us check it from right plane. Or we can edit this one also. Cut plot 2. Edit definition. And we want to see from right plane. Plane can be selected from the geometry itself. Then check. You can rotate this model and want to see this from right plane. So this is pressure distribution through right plane. Let us play it and check it. So it is clearly visible that pressure throughout this furnace of water coil remains almost constant is not changing at all now we can see the temperature distribution instead of pressure it will be temperature of fluid let us view it so what is clearly visible that at the downside Temperature is very less, it is in the range of 5 to 7 degrees centigrade and top side as it is moving up, temperature is increasing and finally temperature becomes in the range of 24 degrees centigrade. In here we will see origins from gold plus also. Right? Let us clear and hide it. And next to that we will see dynamics of flow particles through these tubes. Right? You can have a complete view of this model. Let us have dynamics of flow particles for these models. So, flow trajectories, insert flow trajectories, and only see temperature of fluid and the numbers of fluid particles. Let us consider this one to be 50 numbers, and it will be passing through this entry of these copper tubes. Let us have a segmented view of these copper tubes from right plane, and we will see flow trajectories from these copper tubes, insert flow trajectories, and Instead of 20 numbers, let us make it 50 numbers. Front particles will be moving from here. This location, we will check. Particle study is running. It will take some time for running this simulation. We will see dynamics of flow particles through these tubes. We will check. Particle study is running. It will take some time for completing this study.
let us play this you can see that air from downside it is moving at a high velocity and freon particles are moving from these tubes you can see that temperature of freon at a different locations are different at the bottom side temperature is 5 degrees centigrade and at the top side it is little more uh, we can see the pattern in a different way so flow trajectories clear and hide and we'll see the pattern in a different way edit definition and let us view it in a different way green check we'll see from right plane it is showing that from downside we are forcing air at a velocity of 30 meter per second and through these copper tubes we are forcing freon at a rate of 0.01 meter per second and while it is passing through these tubes these freon particles are getting heated and at the exit of this freon its temperature is moving up right let us play this clear and hide this one next to that we need to see the gold plots and we will see the complete view of the model let us have a complete view of this model so it is completely visible this is the model and we want to see our gold plots Google plots, insert Google plots, and we want to see our results in the form of graphs. So we can transfer this one to Excel and check it. We have only one goal that is temperature at the exit of copper tubes. We can see that after 629 numbers of iterations, we got the final temperature of freon at the exit location it is 12.798 degrees celsius and initial temperature of freon was 5 degrees centigrade right so we got huge amount of rising temperature for freon according to the temperature of air particles it will be decreased initially we fed air particles from downside it was at 30 degrees centigrade when it will be entering the room its temperature will be reduced right instead of stopping it here we can go for some parameter study and optimization in parameter study we can have different input variables input variables may be the mass flow rate of freon or it may be the flow velocity of air particles what we fed from downside right with this one we will conclude our today's analysis and this is a very simple analysis of furnace evaporator coil and this was done using solidworks 2022 version Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.